Greetings. It's Sunday night. The teaching that I was to give today, I think it went relatively well. I probably worried about it more than I needed to, but we'll talk more about that later. I was thinking today a lot about robes and shrine rooms and why I consider them necessary. The shrine room has a door. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> this is a barrier. Inside this room, it's a place for the Dharma. A place for me to practice, meditate, study. When I leave this room, I have to take these things with me into the world and I have to use them to get through my day. I don't have the shrine room because my Buddhist practice is so great. I have my shrine room because the world is a pretty fearsome place for me like it is for all of us. It can be very intimidating. This is my refuge. Well, hello again. The teaching went well today. I was pleased by that. Uh, I was pleased by that. I wore my robes for the teaching. You know, I, I was conflicted about wearing them, to be really honest. Part of me said, no, don't do that. That's pretentious. And I thought about it. I could wear a nice pair of slacks, nice shirt, and still look nice, still look like I was being respectful to the teachings, but not be all pretentious. I didn't want to be that way. You know, I see pictures of other people in Nakpa who get all full of themselves, and I didn't want to be thought of that way. But I thought about something else. There's a, a book. It's a very thin one, but very good one, called The Jewel Treasury of Advice. Don't confuse it, please, with uh, Gampopa's Jewel Ornament of Liberation. The Jewel Treasury of Advice was written by the Jikung Bande Dhammaradza, and it's uh, a book of heart instructions on how to live your daily life. And there's a, a quote in there that's very nice. Through wearing robes, one cultivates a virtuous mind. Wearing lay dress and weapons is a cause of the mind of non-virtue. In particular, religious dress inspires and reminds one of renunciation. It is a sign of the glory of the victor's teachings. Therefore, abandon meaningless dress. Be an ornament to inspire those who have devotion. The hard advice of Vikung Bande Dhammaratsa. Now, what does this mean in English? Well, it's a bumper sticker. You know, you're driving down the way, and you see somebody, and he's driving like a fool. He's driving dangerously. And you see he's got a bumper sticker on the back of his car for whatever. Uh, whatever political cause, whatever social cause he believes in. And you cannot help but on some psychological level to judge the entire group by this one guy's behavior. That's what these robes do. When I am all decked out, I am extremely cautious with my words because I do not want to turn anyone off to the Dharma. I do not want to say anything that would make anyone think anything less of the teachings. They are profound and wonderful teachings. I unfortunately am not a profound or wonderful person. As I have often said, I have absolutely no realization, no wisdom to share. I'm doing my best to share the Dharma, which is a great and wonderful thing, but please don't judge the Dharma by me, because I am the most unworthy vessel to carry such a precious commodity. But there's another point. The robes remind you of renunciation. I look forward so much to the day when I go on my pilgrimage 
the Circle Mount Kailash. And I look even more forward to the day when I go on retreat and spend years, these be my only girls, years studying the Dharma, meditating, practicing, having her good time. So the robes are important. They help me to do my practice better. They help me to function better as a Buddha. There's a wonderful line from a Nakpa who has since gone to the copper-colored mountain. His name was Merrill, and he was a dear friend to everyone in Maine. Merrill and I were eating at an Indian restaurant, and we were both in our full regalia. And he looked at me straight up and he said, Up there on the mountain, we are two Nakpa representing thousands of years of Buddhist tradition. Down here, we're just a couple of guys in dresses. <laughs> I miss him. He was a wonderful friend. But Merrill, at the same time that he was funny, he was also very wise and very realized. He was a good walking example of what it was to be a Buddhist, and I miss him dearly. He was a great friend, and I loved him very much. So at this point, I guess that's about all there is to say. We have the shrine room to help us focus our practice. We wear robes to help us focus our practice. If we wear robes to aggrandize ourselves, if we have a shrine room so we can boast about it, then we've missed the whole point. I don't have a shrine room because I'm great. I'm not great because I have a shrine room. I have a shrine room because I need it. It helps me to do my practice. I am not so strong that I can simply maintain it all up here in my head I am not so filled with the ethical discipline of the Buddha Dharma that I can make it without some things to help me remember what it is I must do on a daily basis. I need these things to help me. So it's not because I'm great. In fact, it's the exact opposite. It's because I want to be adequate. And that's all I got to say about So, everyone, I guess that's it for this week. Please, 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 be compassionate, be well.